Making vision board is the key to everything you want in life. Maybe you don't believe it, but if you want to know how vision board will work for you, how vision board will make you to achieve everything you want in life, keep watching. The key word for today says, Jesus said, ask till your joy is full. Do you know how to make the asking easy and simple? Instead of leaning down to pray for hours when asking, get your diary or iPad note or phone or your exercise book. Write down your desire in sequence by numbering them. Make sure you write your request the way you want it. For example, I buy my house in 2021. Say it daily till you buy it. That is how to pray till your joy is full. Hello everyone. My name is Afalake Janet Oyelami. Today's topic says how vision board can make you to achieve everything you desire in life. Why are the successful using vision board in today's world? How does the Bible told us to use vision board? Before I continue, let me explain what vision board really mean a dream board or vision board is a college of images pictures and affirmations of one's dreams and desires designed to serve as a source of inspiration and motivation and to use the law of abstraction to attain goals first of all i want you to know today that you and me and everyone in the world we are powerful beings the reason is because god specially created us in his own image god created us on this particular day which is the sixth day of all creation after he created us he brings the breath of life into us he then blessed us and said go and multiply that word alone go and multiply is a powerful blessing which means we as human beings can achieve anything we want in life anything you set your mind to to achieve you can achieve it just because god said go and multiply but let me tell you this secret even with god blessing us telling us to go and multiply there are principles which we need to follow to be able to achieve this multiplication in the book of Habakkuk 2.2, 2, then the Lord said, write down the vision, make it plain on paper, make it plain on tablet, so it may run who read it. You will hear some of the prophets, some pastors will say they normally put a note beside their bed and a pen so that whenever they hear God give them ideas, they will write it down. These people put a note and a pen beside their bed to write down ideas they hear in their inner mind or from God just because they don't want to forget it. There is no way you can keep every single thing in your brain. That is why God said to the prophet, write down the vision if god gave us the brain to keep off everything in it he wouldn't have told the prophet 
to write down the vision. He told the prophet to write down the vision because he knew how he created us. Today, I want to share a life of some of my mentors with you. How they have achieved their vision through writing down. One of the inspirational speakers I listen to most of the time is Terry Survey. And one day I listened to her message on how she achieved all her dreams. She said she had a vision book and a vision board at the same time. This is how our vision book looked like. In the book, there is a place where you can write the goals you desire. And there is also a place where you can write the date you wrote down your goals. And there is also the place where you can write plan to achieve this goal. And there is a place where you can write the Bible passage of what you desire. She also put in the book, seed to sow towards achieving your vision and the date you finally achieve your vision and dreams when i had the testimony of terry survey how she achieved most of her dreams she wrote down 10 vision she desired in a year and followed the dream book that i've just read to you and to our surprise she achieved all her dreams in that particular year that inspired me and i also bought the book I copy everything in the book, wrote down my own vision, wrote down my own dreams, and I achieve it. When I did my research, I got to know that most successful people have a dream board and a vision book. You can now ask, how can I write down my own vision board? Number one, you have to be honest with yourself. Don't say, I will buy a five-bedroom mansion in one month. That is a lie. Don't get me wrong. Miracle does happen. But when it comes to writing down your vision board, you start from low. Vision board is like you are building your faith. You are building your faith from the scratch to the highest. So when you want to write your vision board, be honest with yourself. Start from the little thing. For example, instead of saying I want to buy a five bedroom house next month, write, except if you have the money to buy the five bedroom house next month, you can write it down but you know your state you know your level you want to develop your faith gradually let's say you desire to have your own salon you don't say i'm going to buy my shop next month start with by 25th of december i'm going to start to train myself to become and hairdresser for example write it this way i will learn hairdressing for the next three months starting from december 25 that is your goal write the date you wrote it down based on the dream book i'm using which i got from terry then write how do you want to achieve the goal for example there is an hairdresser beside your house. How? This is how. You will say, I will go to the hairdresser beside my house and I will tell her I want to learn how to do hair. And I will start the training by December 25. The next thing is to give a seed, is to sow towards your dream. So you can come in different ways. You might give to charity. You might give your hairdresser, children, some cash. Whatever your heart desire, 
whoever you want to help, you can sow seed towards them. You can sow seed towards charity. You can sow seed towards people that are hairdresser already. Then after three months, when you finally achieve your dream of getting trained as an hairdresser, you write the date down. Say, finally, I am now a trained year dresser that is being honest with with yourself and you have achieved a smaller dream a smaller vision and next you will ask for higher one and follow the first principle this is how how most of the successful people and somebody like me also start to achieve my dream so when you achieve that small dream celebrate it give thanks to god then you go for another dream that is higher than the first one finally to make your heart to believe deeply in the dream and the vision board you prepare for yourself you can also add pictures of the kind of shop you needed so deeply believe that the dream you wrote down you will achieve it you can as well add a picture of the salon you desire in the next few years terry survey give an example that she desired to preach to thousands of people the way joyce mayer preach to people so she says she took the picture of Joyce Meyer preaching to thousands of people, cut it out and put it in a dream book and a dream board. Then she now says she removed Joyce Meyer's head and put her own head there. And she started confessing every single day that this will happen. This will happen. She said she so see towards it. She said this didn't happen for nine months. She said on the 10th month, she was invited to come and preach to thousands of people. And she gave an example of, of her other dreams that she achieved using vision book and vision board. Write down the vision if you really want to achieve your dreams. I hope this helps you. I hope this impacts you to run after your goals to run after your dreams never give up on yourself stay blessed and i speak to you soon